Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developer. In this video, we'll see about the in and any operator. See, uh, typically we'll be using the in in the where condition and we'll be passing a list of value. Uh, so here is a simple table T which contains like uh, uh, numbers in the multiples of 10 from like 10, 20 till 100. So in the where condition, the moment when we say where C in 30, 50, 70, Oracle will filter all the record that satisfy each and every condition here. For example, it filters the record for 30, then filters the record for 50, then filters the record for 70 and returns all the rows that satisfy these conditions. So typically the output will be like 30, 50 and 70. Uh, same way, exactly very similar to in, we can use equal to any. So the equal to any and in both are exactly, both will return exactly the same result. There is another way uh, to write a same query. This is just for an understanding only so that it is easy for us to understand the underlying concept. So instead of writing a, say, a, this type of query to get the same output, we can write in one more way also. Something like select star from T where C equal to 30 or C equal to 50 or C equal to 70. So this also will return the same output. In fact, we can write one more possible way which will return us the same output uh, because all these things are nothing but we are fetching the information for the first value, then the second value, then the third value and we are just combining all the information. So we can use even union all to fetch each and every value then combine. So to get the same data, in fact the functional functionality wise in equal to any R keyword otherwise using a union or all these things will uh, work very similar similarly only okay so this is about the in so uh, from an interview aspect in and equal to any are exactly the same now let us see uh, the other variants of the any or the any with the other uh, set of operators so uh, let us see greater than any operator the moment we say greater than any it is nothing but greater than 30 or greater than 50 or greater than 70. So we'll be getting output like 40, 50, 60 till 100. So it's very similar to like uh, C greater than 30, otherwise C greater than 50 or C greater than 70. In fact, uh, all these list of uh, queries like any greater than 30, otherwise any greater than 30 comma 40, greater than 30, 40, 50 or greater than 30, 40, 50, 60 or even you can add the rest of the things also. The output will be exactly the same. Uh, the easiest way to remember what the greater than any will do is nothing but it is greater than the smallest number. In all these query, if you see 30 is the smallest number. So uh, anything that is greater than 30 will be getting as an output. That's why you are getting like 40 till 100. Okay, so this is about the greater than any. In fact, we can use like greater than or equal to any also. The only difference is that it will be uh, evaluate something like greater than or equal to the smallest number. So in this case, if you see, since I have just used greater than or equal to any operator, we are get, since 30 is the smallest value, we are getting all the list of value greater than or equal to 30. So we got the output something like 30 till so this is about greater than any same way we can write a query for less than any so less than any is just the opposite of greater than any uh, a small difference here so when we say less than any means less than 30 or less than 50 or less than 70 so that's why we are getting like 10 till 60 so the other way to write it like c less than 30 or c less than 50 or c less than 70 in fact we can write using union all also but the intention of this video is just to learn about in versus any okay so the easiest way to remember less than any is nothing but less than the greatest value so in this case 70 is the greatest value in the set in this set 70 is the greatest value so all the value that is lesser than the 70 that is from 10 till 60 will be getting so easiest way to remember uh, less than any is nothing but will be getting the values lesser than the greatest value in the set. In fact, we can use the less than or equal to also just it will uh, give the values from lesser than or equal to the greatest value since 70 is the greatest value. And since we are using greater than equal to we will be getting like 
are 10 till 70. So the easiest way to remember is less than or equal to the greatest number in the set. In this case, it is 70. So this is about like greater than any and the less than any part. In fact, we can use the not equal to any also. However, uh, this won't make any sense because in this case, uh, it will just return the value something like not equal to 30, otherwise not equal to 50, otherwise not equal to 70. That means it just returns all the values. Because if you, if you just decode this part, uh, see not equal to 30. So this alone, uh, uh, except 30, it will give the record. So this condition will give except 50, it will give the rest of the record. Same way, this condition will give except 70, it just give the rest of the record. When we just combine all these results set, we'll be getting the entire result set. So typically in a real time scenarios, we'll never use something like C not equal to any. However, syntactically this will work. So it's better to know that even there is a syntax like this because since we are just going through the any, I just want to show you this also. This is about the greater than any. Okay, just to summarize the learning here, in and equal to any are exactly the same. So there is no difference. Uh, greater than any means it is greater than the smallest number in the set. So you just need to find the smallest number. Anything that is greater than this, we'll be getting as an output. Same way, less than any means uh, lesser than the greatest value. So this is the one difference between greater than any and less than any. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview questions, SQL practical question and concept video. If you want any questions to be addressed, you can drop in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. Thanks a lot for watching this video.